important considerations before buying a puppy. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. You have always wanted a dog. Perhaps you have retired and fancy taking long walks with your new best pal. Or perhaps the kinds have been pestering you to get a puppy and you have finally caved in. But before you rush out to make the kids wishes come true, there are some important questions to ask yourself to be sure you know what you are getting into. What breed of dog best suits your circumstances and different breed of dog have different needs of their own? You have to strike that balance. For example if you live in a small apartment going out to buy a St. Bernard puppy probably isn't the smartest move. Instead, say a Jack Russell would be more suitable. That cute new puppy will need lots of looking after and training. Who will do that? Do you have the time? Are you able to take time from work? Can your partner and or kids put the time in? Tough questions to ask yourself but ask you must and be honest with yourself. Do your circumstances really lend themselves to puppy ownership? Other considerations to take into account include grooming and feeding. Long-haired breeds take more grooming. Big dogs eat more food. And more food means more expense. Think also of the cost of owning that puppy. It's not just the cost of feeding either. Other ownership costs can add up. For example bedding, collar, lead, toys and similar. Another consideration is insurance to cover vet bills. Different breeds of dogs tend to have health issues specific to the breed. Consider the risk here too. Do your research into this so you are aware of the potential issues which may arise as puppy grows into an adult dog. And of course ask yourself, really ask yourself, if you have the commitment which dog ownership demands of you. Do you have the fortitude to take your dog out for a walk before bedtime in any weather? Sun, rain or snow, your dog needs exercise. I suggest taking advice from a local pet store and if possible a vet before you buy that puppy. Listen to what they have to say about what breed of puppy might best suit your circumstances and how best you might prepare your home first. The pet store or vet may also be able to offer advice on local breeders from whom you might acquire your puppy. I suggest visiting the puppy a time or two at the breeder's premises and ideally seeing puppy with its mother. And before you buy, check any paperwork which may be required. A local kennel club is another source of advice. Owning a puppy is a very rewarding experience, however please carefully take into account the important considerations we have taken a quick look at here before you take the plunge. I hope you have found this of use should you be thinking about getting a puppy. If you are then you may like to check out this online course on puppy training tips for beginners. Separation anxiety is something to be aware of also. Here's some useful information on dealing with dog separation anxiety which you may like to check out. Thanks for watching.